Wait, Callum! Where did you go? I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Stop, Callum! <laughs> Callum! Stay where you are! Callum! Where did you go? Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Callum, come back here right now! Callum! Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum is no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. They shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single, traitorous thought. Come out, sweetie! Ooh, buddy! I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of a season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around, and so most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping, and most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve, see? Even I am starting to call him. <gasps> Extras. No. Ah. No, I don't want extras. I kind of want to see. Hello. Callum, where are you? For me, Callum. Dang, I kinda I wanted to finish reading that. Let's see, settings, gameplay. Looks like I only get to read it once. That kind of blows, man. Ouch. All right, stuff about Steve or Chad. Callum? 
Yeah. That's three eyes. Not exactly cool. Come to mommy, Callum. <laughs> Callum, tell mommy where you are. Constant crashes in 80s music. Guess it floats someone's boat. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Follow the trail is whispered. Woo! Come back. Wait for mommy. <laughs> Stop, Callum. This way, mommy. Stop, Callum. Over here. Callum, come back here right now. <laughs> What is this about? Nathaniel Winter, financial genius or eccentric geriatric? <laughs> Nathaniel Winter, billionaire, Moogle. You want to play this with me, babe? Huh? You want to play this one with oh, me? Oh, hell no. Why not? I want to hang out, you know, watch a movie, get some Chinese, some phone Okay. It's the park. We're literally looking for our kid and he lost his teddy bear. But this isn't any park I'd ever go to. It is the wife. It is game mom's birthday, folks. So she's kind of been around, like, out all day with the kids and her family. And she is here hanging out with us here at the house. No. It's really light. Is that the new perfume? Because yeah. when you just go ch 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 upstairs with the other one, itch. You need like two sprays and you're good. Yeah. Not ten. Look at the new brush wife he got me. Yeah. The new brush, guys. It's half the size of my face. Look at that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Woo! And it can still kind of hang in the beard. Kind of. All right, so when Nathaniel Winter Moogle announced his intention to build an amusement park on the fog shrouded shores of Solomon Island off the coast of New England, there were sniggers up and down Wall Street. <laughs> Winter, who made his fortune through a series of savvy investments during the post war boom, the long been considered eccentric but brilliant man his passion for the new england region has always been at the forefront of his investment portfolio with him pouring funds into local businesses small and large in general his business his businesses and investments have paid off and due to his generosity winter enjoys a friendly relationship with the governor and other key political figures so why will a track rec so why with a track record like this are the Wall Street Wizards shaking their heads? At first glance, Solomon Island is an odd choice. A tiny town called Kingsmouth, Kingsmouth, or Kingsmouth, with a sleepy main street and a preppy academy for dropouts from Boston, a lighthouse that is already in the process of being automated, and a belligerent tribe of natives who were very res recently involved in a dispute over the Blue Ridge Mines. It doesn't make sense, one commentator points out, pointed out. New England has a short summer, thus far north, and the, and the number of visitors to Solomon Island per season are limited. I don't see how he expects to turn a profit. But others have far more faith in winter. Under condition of an, uh, anonymity, an engineer who, ba who has seen the plans for the park notes several anomalies. He's digging far deeper than is needed for an amusement park, including several underground chambers which are too small to house machinery. If you ask me, the old man's looking for something buried beneath the island itself. Could this be the real reason that the eccentric businessman has relocated to his remote northern island? Or to this remote northern island. 
Is this co corporate mid misdirection of the highest order by a crafty entrepreneur? With the disputes over the Blue Ridge Mine, with the native population ongoing, there's definitely something buried beneath Solomon Island. Perhaps Nathaniel Winter is going to surprise us all. Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Alright, so there are issues all over Twitch. It's only recently happened. But there are so many folks like... That's crazy, crazy, crazy. There's so much happening right now on Twitch. Let's see. What is it? Hashtag Twitch what? Twitch status. That's what it is. Whew. All right, let's do this, folks. Okay. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Accident report. What? Employee Francis Dufresne, the Shakes. Time and date of incident: twenty fifth October, nineteen seventy six. Job title and department: laborers working on the crane. Supervisor or lead: Richard Stapleton. Witnesses. Lawrence Creed, Michael Edgeworth. Brief description of accident incident. During the transport of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attached to the load to the trunk came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Francis was killed. Oh my god, did the injured employee see a doctor? Yes, he was dead. If yes, did you file an employee, employer's portion of a worker's compensation form? Yes. Uh, comments by the supervisor, Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. What could have been done to prevent this accident or incident? Double checking the straps after transit should be mandatory and drug screening for all drivers, obviously. Have the unsafe conditions been corrected? No. Wow. Photocopy. Additional comments. The local laborers are very superstitious and this hasn't helped. Some of them are refusing to return to work until we have someone from the local church walk to the park and exercise the bad spirits. They're talking about exercising bad spirits. That is a bad mojo jojo. Oh my god. Holy hell. It was a runaway frickin' cart! Where are you, Callum? <laughs> Mommy is coming, Callum! Mommy is coming, Callum! Callum, 
where did you go? Mmm, I'm faced. Do I go back to the path? Do I go up these steps? I feel... Oh. Uh. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. What the hell's wrong with her? Did we do something and not like it? I mean... Stay where you are! Continually delayed by the incompetence of the builders, the problem is that they are locals. And so they believe a lot of the rumors about what old man Henderson used to do here. They grew up on those tales. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. Of course, that is why I chose this site over all the other potentials. Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energies, and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here, it makes my skin crawl. I called in a fav few favors back in Brooklyn, got someone at the local academy to see if they had interesting books about local history. Turns out, they do. And it turns out that old man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find the piece of the plans that I am missing. Ooh, missing plans on the park. Let us see, some missing plans, they say. Ferris wheel? That's not weird at all. But we're, we're wearing some Uggs! We're wearing Uggs and we got some torn jeans, bros. Torn up jeans. What did we do? People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. I think it has to be that night. Oh. That one perfect night. Giggity moment. We together, but then, well, he died. 
According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Oh! Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Dang. So that's why we're tied to this place. Wow. What was that operating? Callum, tell mommy where you are. Don't be afraid. Callum, where did you go? So they are going to close this place down. Doesn't surprise me. Fair rides inspection. After touring the park, riding and ri riding the rides and viewing the starting startling number of incidents suffered here in the park, it is this inspector's opinion that Atlantic Island Park should be shut down until Nathaniel Winter complies with all safety regulations. While I understand that there is a sensitive political relationship between Mr. Winter and the Senator, I nevertheless suggest that such political considerations be set aside in condemning Atlantic Island Park. The rides at first glance appear well constructed and maintained, but the sheer number of incidents in the park under the last few years and during construction lead me to believe that there is something wrong at the base level of construction and we should close the park and fully investigate these flaws. To, to wit, here is a partial list of fatalities in the park since opening only two years ago. Family of three killed when a roller coaster cart derailed. 14 separate incidents of broken bones and crushed ribs while riding the Octotron. Three suicides from the top of the Ferris wheel. A child seriously injured under on the escalator. Over a dozen children reported missing in the House of Horrors since its construction. One report of a drowning in the Tunnel of Tales. The sheer volume of incidents means that it is... My strongest re recommendation that Atlantic Island be closed immediately. David Walseth. I wonder if we're going to find his body in here. Callum? Callum! Kind of curious. We didn't see anything at the Octotron. All right, give me, give me two seconds, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to help the wife real quick.
All right, folks, we're back. Had to help the wife in the kitchen. All right, and you got everything. So, all right, let's do it, folks. Sorry if I'm loud. Ah. Huh. I really love you. I love you too. I miss you. Um. Now get in there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. Stay where you are. <laughs> I keep hearing a baby. Oh boy, here we go again. More frame drops. How do you expect him to react when you tell him you're going to rip down into a treehouse? You're going to be stubborn just like me. You keep saying I'm stubborn, I'm trying to say that I'm not. The bumper sticker is gone. Don't put that bumper sticker. That means I'm not. I'm trying to talk to you about something serious. Come on, Lee. No, no, no. See, it has to be here somewhere. It can't just. Let's see. Yeah, we're live. <sighs> Let's see. Twitch status. Yep, Fright Night in the Arcade on Twitch TV. We'll do this again. All right, here we go, ladies and gents. We're going to do this. We're going to do it. Let's, uh, let's see. There's no way to look in there, so let's go. If we're here...
be afraid. The hell is this? People idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them. Little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... We all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive <laughs> bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Whoa! This mom is pissed! She hates having kids, man. Holy shit. Where are you, Callum? Callum, why did you go? Where are you, Callum? Stay where you are. I always wanted to write this one. Never got around to do it before. Callum, where did you go? Mommy is coming, Callum! Mommy is coming, Callum! Ups and downs. Achievement unlocked. What do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. said something. Let us out, let us out, let us out. Oh my god. We found your teddy bear, but we didn't even get to pick it up.
Callum? Callum! It works. The calculations and adjustments worked. The transport and storage mechanisms seem to be flawless. What a wonderful day! If only these people knew what they were fueling. And so what if a few people leave the park at the end of the day feeling dour? So what if the children are more scared than excited on the roller coaster? This could be the doorway to immortality. And such doorways open only to those who have the will to find the key. Whoa, what is that about? Not cool. Not cool. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Come back. This isn't a game. 